Good afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Gus Rosendale. A new day of frustration and desperation at our airports as stranded flyers are spending another day left in a holiday travel lurch. Southwest Airlines has canceled over 60% of its flights today, and in our area, that's being felt the most at LaGuardia Airport. Competitors are capping fares to help stranded flyers. That's if they can even find a flight to book. News 4's Gabby Acevedo is at LaGuardia with the latest. People are frustrated, passengers losing time and money, while others are missing the chance to be with family for the holidays. The chaotic scenes across airports in America showing bags piled up in baggage game sections now are common, as well as those long lines of travelers who are stranded and desperately looking for a way out. The CEO for Southwest Airlines apologized last night for the complications this has caused for passengers across the nation who are simply trying to get home after Christmas break or starting the New Year's holiday travel. The Federal Department of Transportation has already called out the airline saying the mass cancellations are unacceptable and the Southwest failed in supporting passengers who suffered the consequences, many having to dig into their own pockets for a quick solution. Southwest Airlines posted a form on its website where customers can now request a refund and reimbursement for hotels, rental car and food. But important note that Southwest is warning that the situation will continue as we head into the last week of the year, one of the busiest times to travel since they're looking to rearrange their flight crews trying to get them back into position to satisfy the demand of passengers. Reporting from LaGuardia Airport, Gabby Acevedo, News 4, New York. Firefighters dealt with a large fuel spill on the Upper West Side. The FDNY says about 700 gallons of diesel fuel spilled from a construction crane last night near West 66 and Central Park West. Hazmat teams were also called to the scene to assist with the cleanup. We're told no one was hurt. A final farewell begins today for FDNY firefighter William Moon. Moon died after falling 20 feet during a training exercise in Brooklyn earlier this month. His wake will be held on Long Island in East Islip this afternoon and evening. His funeral is scheduled for tomorrow. Moon is survived by his wife and two children. His family donated his organs, which officials say helped save five other lives. In Connecticut, a $50,000 reward is being offered in connection to the robberies of mail carriers. The robberies have taken place in West Haven, Hartford, Waterbury, Middletown, Greenwich, and Stamford. They started on November of last year, and the latest known one happened on December 7th. Police don't have a description of the suspects. They are pleading with the public for any information. Also in Connecticut, environmental officials are warning about bobcats. That's after a man was attacked at his home on Friday. Happened in Columbia. Officials say the animal was under his truck when it bit his leg. He kicked it off. He ran inside, and then he went to the doctor. Officers say the bobcat may have had rabies because of its behavior. They warn people, if you see a bobcat, just stay away. And a New Jersey officer comes to the rescue of a deer. It was in a tough spot in Paramus, New Jersey. You pull him up and over? That is Sergeant Dean Avigano with Paramus PD. They got a call of a doe stuck between two fences. Well, the sergeant jumped in, he pulled the animal up there. And aside from being a little confused, the animal ran off after being freed. Having right now Good Riddance Day in Times Square. Just got underway just about 20 minutes ago. It's the annual tradition where people can say goodbye to unwanted memories of the past year. Just write down things you'd like to forget. And then you can publicly shred it. Throw it in the trash or mash it up. This year, there's also a miniature obstacle course to symbolically get over the challenges we faced in 2022. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Matt Brickman. Sunshine's back today and temperatures are up into the 40s. A 10 degree jump from this time yesterday and we should settle somewhere around 44 for a high this afternoon. Partly cloudy skies and a nice southwest wind helping to push temperatures up. We're back in the 50s on Friday, but looking ahead at the weekend, we keep the warmth, but bring in the rain expecting showers starting on Saturday afternoon and continuing right through ball drop at midnight. It'll be mild in Times Square, right around 50 degrees, but expect some wet weather. So poncho is probably appropriate there. Rain continues into the morning of New Year's Day, but no big drop in temperatures. We will hold in the 50s for much of the first week of 2023, even getting close to 60 degrees on Wednesday, Gus. All right, Matt, looking good. Thank you. And that's it for now. I'm Gus Rosendale.